Hey, it's Sam from Diane Talk, Real Talk, Let's Talk. It is What's Up Wednesday, people, so here we go. This is gonna be a little off the wall, but it's something that uh, makes my brain itch, so here we are. You know how, as human beings, as adults, men, women, whatever, we find each other attractive. Wow, look at her eyes, they're pretty. Look at what a beautiful smile he has. Great, he's got great hair. She's got a great ass. Like these are things that we think of or we watch or we think and we're attracted to each other or people. So here we are now, I'm wondering, and this is mo mostly from watching some, uh, some interesting interactions with animals. Do animals say the same thing when they're out roaming around? Cats are playing, looking out the window, watching another cat go by, or wow, look at the tail on her, and doesn't he have beautiful fur, and wow, I'd like to get up with that. Like, Do they think the same way that we do? Because, I mean, I, I truly believe, and I will say this again, animals are much smarter than people. We don't rely on instinct, we rely on well, some of our instincts, but it's only basal and sexual. And um, we don't really feel it and do it and go after it. Animals do. They eat when they're hungry, they sleep when they're tired, they have a routine, they hunt, um, and, they, and they do things in a different way. So for me, the What's Up Wednesday thing is, why are we not able to take our cues or clues from them and maybe proceed in a different way? Not everything has to be boom, not everything has to be definitive and not everything has to be so like fucking thought provoking. We have to think everything to death and oh my God, la la la, what if I do? What if I don't? What if I will? What if she won't? Who the hell cares? Give it a shot. What's up Wednesday for me is this. I look at animals and I watch how they, they act and react. I look at my two cats. They love each other, they fight, they whatever. But at the end of the day, they have their own way of doing things, right? And it's very much on their schedule, not on the clock. And we every, we do everything by the clock. It's 12 o'clock, you've got to eat. It's what I, and you have to go to bed and this and that. We need eight hours sleep. So sometimes I need eight hours, sometimes I need four hours, sometimes I need 12 hours. It depends on the day. Now with our schedules and our work, we are conditioned to do things differently, but what's up Wednesday, just think about this. If animals are attracted to each other the same way we are, and I believe they are, and if we could actually get some clues for them on how to live a better life, which is when you eat when you're hungry, sleep when you're tired, and work it into your schedule somehow, I think we'll all come out a winner. Diane from Diane Talk, Real Talk, Wheel Talk. This is one of two, two of two coming up.